Hey everyone, I'm Carrie Walsh Jennings and you're watching Teen Info Net. Jennings, how are you? I'm so good. I'm a beautiful day in LA. I'm supporting a great cause and it's going to be a great day. So what made you want to come out and support today? You know, I got a call from Sun Life, who's a big sponsor of today, of this walk. And my mother was diagnosed a couple months ago with type 1 diabetes. Um, prior to that, you know, it was diabetes was on my radar, but very minorly. And now I'm all in. I want to support this cause. I want to help defeat it. I want to raise awareness. Um, it seems to be one of the most challenging diseases to deal with in, in life. And my mother's going through it, so I want to support her in any way I can. And will you be walking today? I will not be walking. I'm here to try to get morale going and meet some people and hear people's stories. I'm so ins inspired by so many of these people's stories. Um, but I got my babes at home, so I got to go home and take care of them. But I, I'll be here in spirit for sure. I was going to say, you have a disadvantage with your long legs. Oh, I got a like disadvantage or an advantage? Yeah, I know. I'll be done in two steps. <laughs> So we do have the holidays coming up. Yes. And do you have any plans yet with your family? I, I will be with family, 100%. My husband's family is kind of uh -huh. spread out throughout the state. Um, my family is up in Northern California, so we'll be bouncing around, but staying in our little unit of five um, as a Jennings family, and we're just going to enjoy it. I'm, I'm in off-season, so I just want to be with family. And do you have any normal traditions that you guys do? We got plenty. We go on a Christmas tree hunt uh -huh. the day after Thanksgiving. Um, this year we're up in Northern California for Thanksgiving, and then we go to Tahoe for Christmas. Christmas and New Year's and we're just you know as long as we're together we don't care what we're doing but we have some fun things that we will never miss out Christmas Eve mass is my favorite thing in the world um, you know little things and do you are your kids the type that like to sneak and see what presents they have well they are four and a half five and a half and one and a half so they are sneaky <laughs> they think they out sneak their mom and dad but um, no we already have our elf on, elf on the shelf out um, they're really really funny about all of it they're little cheaters snakes the whole bit they're normal kids so yes of course and what would you say for people who don't don't know about this yet or this cause yet or this charity whichever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah well I think follow the American Diabetes Association you can go to their website follow them on social media and find out there they do great events all the time and it's just you know spreading awareness about things is, is hugely important and if, if I, I assume if you think about it everyone knows someone who's affected by this disease so um, just follow them check it out and it's a great cause you know it's good people there this affects kids this affects babies this affects adults you know um, older people all the time you know just affects everybody it doesn't discriminate and so I think it's just something we need to raise awareness and, and get rid of it if possible and I know one of the main ways to help maintain the diabetes or like kind of cure it in a way is yes. with good fitness yes. and diet. So what advice would you give for those people? Yeah, you know, I just think being disciplined when you, this mm -hmm. is a challenge. It's it's over it's overcomable or it's manageable mm -hmm. and I think that you have to attack it from all angles. This is coming from someone without diabetes. So take it with a grain of salt. But I know in life mindset is very important. I know discipline is very important, especially when you have a challenge like this. Um, being physical every single day is sanity, but it also helps I believe keep your sugar levels stable. Um, yeah, and then just feeding your body what it needs. And a diabetic's body needs certain things and I think educating yourself is probably the best the best resource you can do and the type that like to sneak and see what presents they have well they are four and a half five and a half and one and a half so they are sneaky <laughs> they think they out sneak their mom and dad but um, no we already have our elf on, elf on the shelf out um, they're really really funny about all of it they're little cheaters snakes the whole bit they're normal kids so yes of course and what would you say for people who don't know about this yet or this cause yet or this charity, whichever you want to call it. Yeah, well, I think follow the American Diabetes mm -hmm. Association. You can go to their website, follow them on social media, and find out there. They do great events all the time, and it's just, you know, spreading awareness about things is, is hugely mm -hmm. important, and if, if I, I assume if you think about it, everyone knows someone who's affected by this mm -hmm. disease. So um, just follow them, check it out, and it's a great cause. You know, it's good people. They're, this affects kids, this affects babies, this affects adults, you know, um, older people all the time. You know, just, it affects everybody. It doesn't discriminate and so I think it's just something we need to raise awareness and, and get rid of it if possible. And I know one of the main ways to help maintain the diabetes or like kind of cure it in a way is yes. with good fitness yes. and diet. So what advice would you give for those people? Yeah, you know, I just think being disciplined when you, this mm -hmm. is a challenge. It's it's over, it's over overcomable or it's manageable mm -hmm. and I think that you have to attack it from all angles. This is coming from someone without diabetes so take it with a grain of salt but I know in life mindset is very important. I know discipline is very important especially when you have a challenge like this. Um, being physical every single day is sanity but it also helps I believe keep your sugar levels stable. Um, yeah, and then just feeding your body what it needs and a diabetic's body needs certain things and I think educating yourself is probably the best the best resource you can do and lastly can you share with us your social medias yeah carrie lee walsh on twitter and facebook and um, i think that's all i got
Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great time today Thank and you. get home early to your kids. I will. Right? Take nice care. meeting you. Thank you, you too. Thank you.